There's a lot of traffic right now. Wow. Where are all these people going? here in Cambodia. I cleaned it yesterday, so it should be in tip-top shape. Um, I'll probably insert a video here of me cleaning it. I live with a host family. My family is probably in upper middle class, um, and so I do have um, I, I'm really grateful I have a really nice space um, that is mine to call mine for two years and every Peace Corps volunteers experience is going to be different. In Peace Corps Cambodia we are required to stay with a host family um, but that's going to vary depending on the country of service if you are going to be a Peace Corps volunteer. Um, some volunteers live on their own. I know of um, a lot of volunteers that have their own house that's kind of on the same property as um, a family and so they have like their own space but then they um, still like eat dinner with the family or they just see the family every day and kind of have that support in that way. So it's really gonna depend. Um, but yeah, I live with a family and Without further ado, this is my space. So my room is upstairs. And there's the, the tax building, which is always in my view. The beautiful tax building. Um, this is the, what's the word? What's the word? Deck, the deck, the upper deck. And These are my main windows, that the ones that I keep open. I'm really lucky to have these. Uh, wow, I can't think of any English words today. What are these called? Screens. I'm lucky to have these screens to keep out mosquitoes. My host mom's outside outdoor kitchen is right down there, so a lot of ash comes in from from the fire pit um, and then we have also have the red so a lot of dust comes in so um, I close the window a lot during the day but there is also this up area up here so a lot of dust does come in so this is my door again we have these are these um, screen doors which are really nice and then these clothes here's this little coffee area that um, another volunteer my friend Paul got me these for Christmas we did a uh, secret Santa they're so cute welcome all right so I have a mattress which is really nice um, my other training my host family when I was in training I had um, Peace Corps gave us like a small mat that we kind of laid on most of us laid on like a wooden bed frame with the, the small mat and it was actually really comfortable um, but now I, I do have a mattress so that is nice but oh man all right so got my laundry I actually just made this guy it's my um one of my uh, dumbbells but I only have one right now so we're getting another one soon <laughs> um, giant box of toiletries and workout stuff right here I uh, hang my sweaty clothes here to dry usually and then my mom actually just sent me this little fan from America with an extension cord, so that's nice. I, I have this big fan as well, and in this corner, 
got this little like wicker bookcase which is I love um, my yoga mat got instruments I have two plugins and I just got a new light um, in here which is very convenient before I was using this lamp which I actually really like the lamp but um, now I have both this area is actually a closet and this whole wall is storage space behind but I like to keep this closet open because I put things on this shelf and it makes the room feel a little bit more open um, so yeah I just leave it open all the time so this wall you can actually write on it with whiteboard markers there is some quotes in Kamai over here I can't read Kamai yet but I think it's from my host sister when she lived in this room and, and I also have these these pictures that my host sister when this was her room she had pictures of them on the ceiling and on the wall over here you can see it over there I'll show you later I have some things hanging I have some pictures here um, these are just like reminders my niece sent me this from America um, on this wall I've got just some things that remind me of home and then some things I've gotten from service. So a letter from one of my students uh, at the primary school. I got these neat corgi. Oh my god, what was that? <gasps> that was scary. Okay, there we go. There we go. I got these corgi hooks that are super... Okay, so when I first moved into this room, I had a dresser that was a lot different and then my family actually got rid of that dresser and got me this this one which uh, was very cool and again um, some volunteers don't have dressers a lot of volunteers they get like uh, at least a lot of volunteers in Cambodia they get a standing rack and they hang their clothes on that um, I know that my knee so I usually keep these doors open because I get in this area a lot and then I have like toiletries and bug spray and all that stuff up here. This is my mirror and I actually, so I use this pillow to sit when I am getting ready in the morning when I'm doing my makeup or when I'm doing my makeup or um, putting on my face stuffs you know you know how it is the face stuffs and it's actually really comfy I really enjoy sitting on the floor when I'm getting ready and I think I might be something that I incorporate into my life in the future my guitar over there in the corner because it's broken it's broken sad day but I still have my my uke and my baglama over here still can't play the baglama but you know what it's gonna happen. So I guess that was it. Sorry if this video was a little bit all over the place. Oh my gosh, that's not it. I have to show you. Inside I have a bed frame that's amazing. I love this headboard because it... I love this headboard because it has like a little drawer here and then it has these um, cabinets here which because of my mosquito net I have to have it like this. Um, and I use it to kind of keep the mosquito net tucked in but it's a great place to like store books and stuff and then I have this cute little area it actually had um, glass that I removed so I, I can put things very easily in here now and see them this was um, a little piece of art that my nephew made for me and my pup my pup Frocious from back home and so I just got these for Christmas for my mom in America. Let me turn them on. Yeah. So I got those. And then my students for Christmas, they got me, a few of them got me <laughs> this gift. And it was so cute. They were like, I gave, they gave it to me and they were like, oh, it's like Beauty and the Beast. And my heart just melted because I, that was one of my favorite Disney movies as a kid. And now that, and now look at this. Look at me. I'm living the high life. I am basically Belle. Basically Belle. Look at that. Gorgeous. I really love this space. I have more than I need. 
and I feel my family is really good about giving me space um, in my room alone when I need it and so I really have found this area to be kind of like a sanctuary for me when I'm struggling and when times are when times are rough yeah I'm just I'm really grateful and that's that's my my Peace Corps home room that's my room all right I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you on the side that is flipped flip side bye I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you on the side that is flipped flipped